We have a new Streams release and with it also a new video where we walk through all the main new features. The new release has over 90 PRs from over 15 contributors. As always, many thanks to everyone who contributed to it. One of the important things to keep in mind is that this is the last version where we support Kubernetes 1.16, 1.17 and 1.18. From the next release, which will be Streams 0.32, these Kubernetes versions will not be supported anymore. On the Apache Kafka front, the main change is that we now support Apache Kafka 3.2.1. Otherwise, the supported Kafka versions are the same as in the previous release. One of the main new features in this release is support for leader election in the cluster operator. It allows the cluster operator to run with multiple replicas. One of the replicas will be active and will be responsible for managing your Kafka clusters, while the others will serve as a standbys. The leader election support is based on the Kubernetes lease resource. Running the operator with multiple replicas can be especially useful during major disruptions where your cluster operator pod might not be schedulable. Leader election is enabled by default, but the operator runs out of the box only with one replica. So if you want to use more of them, you have to scale it up. A more detailed video about this feature will be coming soon. Another important new feature is support for pod security providers. Pod security providers are plugins which can configure pod and container security contexts. Out of the box, Strumzy provides two different implementations, the baseline provider and the restricted provider. They correspond to the baseline and restricted Kubernetes pod security profiles. The pod security providers allow you to configure security contexts for your pods and containers centrally without needing to configure the template section in your custom resource for every single pod or container. And because the providers are pluggable, if needed, you can also write your own custom provider. More details about this feature will be published soon in a blog post on our website. This release has also many other smaller changes. The Strimzy Podset controller now exposes metrics with information about the Strimzy Podset reconciliation. IPv6 addresses can be now used as the subject alternative names in the broker certificate. And the API module provides predicates to identify when the custom resource is ready or not. There are also new versions of several components. 0.22 of the Strimzy bridge 1.6.0 of the Kafka exporter and 1.9.0 of the Kaniko container builder. And there are of course also many other bug fixes and dependency updates. That's it for this release. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also star Streamsy on GitHub and follow us on Twitter.